But if the last few years have proven anything to us, it's that the ground beneath all of us is constantly shifting, right? It's constantly changing. Doesn't matter what your industry, profession, age, or experience level, change is the name of the game. And as an aviator, I like to think in aviation metaphors, and there's gonna be a few of those tonight, so hang on for that, okay? You know, I like to think of these changes and adversity that comes along a lot like headwinds. And a lot of times, headwinds in our lives come along and they can be nice and pleasant and breezy, but let's be honest, usually when headwinds come along, they are unexpected, they are unwelcome, and they can be darn disruptive, right? And so what I learned though across my career is that with the right mindset and the right attitude, we can actually harness these headwinds to our favor, all right? To the favor of ourselves as individual professionals, but certainly to the favor of the teams that you're on and the teams that all of you are leading. And as an aviator, uh, headwinds mean a lot to us, all right? Headwinds can dictate my route of flight, my altitude, my speed, the amount of fuel that I have to carry. Headwinds can even dictate the trajectory of my weapons in combat. In an aviation, when we want to wish somebody well, we say, I wish you blue skies and tailwinds. Because arguably, blue skies and tailwinds are the best kind of flying weather you could have. Wouldn't it be great if our lives were all blue skies and tailwinds? But we know that that's not true, right? Headwinds are always gonna come along. They're gonna force us to change direction, they're gonna cost us time, they're gonna cost us energy, and at their very worst, headwinds can even take away options, all right? But there's something I find fascinating about headwinds is that there's two times we'll seek them out and turn into them, and that's for takeoff and for landing. Now, takeoff and landing are arguably the most risky phases of flight, but by turning into and harnessing those headwinds, we make those difficult transitions from the ground to the sky and back down again a lot easier, a lot smoother, and a heck of a lot more efficient. So I'm gonna share a few stories from across my career today and a few lessons learned to maybe give you a slightly different lens or a slightly different paradigm to look at your own headwinds through. 